Doing anything for the first time can be tricky, even for professionals. That's why we have prepared five tips to help you integrate a VRF system. Tip number one. Let's start by getting acquainted with the components of the system. VRF systems are made up of two different system components, indoor units and outdoor units. The indoor units work to achieve the individual temperature set points for each room, while the outdoor units work to fulfill the requirements of the indoor units. Tip number two, don't waste time on the outdoor units. Just focus on the indoor units since these are the ones you will need to integrate into your home automation system. Tip number three, each indoor unit will be controlled via its unique address. When a VRF system is installed, each indoor unit will be automatically assigned a unique system address by the indoor units. Before beginning the integration process, take a moment to map all the indoor unit addresses along with their corresponding room name. Tip number four. Unlike traditional HVAC systems, all VRF indoor unit functions are managed independently of one another. The operational state on and off is managed separately from the mode cool heat. Take this into consideration when you set up the UI. Tip number five. And here's our final tip. Keep in mind that temperature in VRF systems is measured via a sensor mounted inside the indoor unit. Since hot air rises, a sensor in a ceiling unit could sense a dramatically different temperature from what would be felt closer to the ground. So be careful not to confuse return air temperature with room temperature. We hope these tips help you get started right. Wait, that's not all! Click for more tips!